Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Craft Beer Club with Shane and Nick. We're just two ordinary guys that love drinking extraordinary beer. And today we have four beers to try from Selfish Brewing Company in Fort Pierce, Florida. <laughs> We have in this four pack here that you can pick up from the store, we have a Sunrise City IPA, uh, a white Marlin Wit beer, a Tag and Release Amber Ale, and a Fort Pierce Port Fierce IPA. Fierce. It's kind of cool. Fish. Is it a Marlin is. and Selfish the same thing? I don't know. I have known, I don't know I don't anything know. about fish. <laughs> I think I'm fishing fish and chips. Yeah, fish and chips is where you stop um, knowing about fish. All right, let's give this a try. Let's try to put in the bag here, the magic bag. First, we're going to try. The uh, Tag and Release Amber Ale. Mm. You'll notice now we're drinking out of these posh snifter glasses. They're so fancy, they're so itty bitty. We have to try a lot of beers when we're doing the show and we don't want to get too drunk. Wow, that is... That is orange. Holy mo... Cheers. Wow, cheers. This is... So orange. It smells really good. It smells great. It smells really hoppy, I can smell the hops in there. So it has, uh, it's 5.9% alcohol Ooh. and a 27 IBU on this one. Some cool artwork on this can too. Artwork by Dennis Friel. I don't know who that is, but it's Looks like cool. photography on this, nice. All right, let's give this a try. Ooh. Just a clean, crisp amber ale, perfect for year round drinking. Uh, Multi, medium body, has hints of caramel and toasty malt with a well-balanced bitterness and hop presence. The hop presence is, mm. is there. It's arrived. It's, mm. Oh yeah. It's smooth. It's so orange, look at that. It's like so, it looks like amber. Let's compare. Mine's like, you can see through it. Oh, almost. mine's cloudier than yours. That's this so was weird. poured after this. this was the second pour. Maybe it takes a moment to... Let's see. Let's get a little bit more in there. Yeah, I mean, like, now it's cloudy. Yeah. So there we go. Oh, bless, bless you, you. sir. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Um, that was a loud sneeze. That was a loud sneeze. Wow. Well, it's more a, than it's a six a... foot separation, social <laughs> distance, but not sneeze. That's, uh, I'm doing yard work and I got grass up on my nose. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. He's, he's got the hay fever over there. One of these. The aftertaste isn't bad. Um, Chuggability. I don't know if I have enough to chug it, but I I don't think it's I don't think it's a bad chug. <laughs> with these glasses, everything is 100 percent chuggable mm. with these glasses. <sighs> Easy piece of cake. So the the tag and release amber ale out of ten, what would you give that, Nick? Out of ten? Yeah, I would give it like a good nine, a solid nine. I I really like it. I feel like I could drink it all the time. Um, it's not too heavy either, so that's nice. I don't know how many are in this box that comes with it. Maybe four or five or something. There was three in the box. Three. I could. I could drink all three. Piece of cake. Already Easy drank them all. You already drank all of them already. <laughs> so. Yeah. I'm I think... amazed that these stuck around so long. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> okay, let's go with the wit. We're gonna, we're gonna go with the uh, the Marlin Ooh. wit. Marlin wit. And th this is called Marlin wit. And I thought, oh, is it gonna be fishy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> but no. I tell you, there's something about this which. <laughs> It's something it tastes like, like the fish? sea. No, it's like the sea. It There's tastes something like ocean in it. water. Oceany. It tastes. Is it salty? Is it salty? Maybe it is. Like I, don't, I don't think it is. The Marlin Wit is a refreshing wheat ale, very pale in colour, and with oranges and coriander. So I did remember. I do remember hearing that. Now this is more like when we had the Saint Bernardus Wit. Yeah, beer. that's what I was thinking. This is, is more kind of like I guess like a traditional. I feel that. I get that. I get that. I'm smelling the glass now. I'm drunk. I don't know. <laughs> I like I like it when you take it out of a glass and there's no none of that extra like weird metallic flavor to it. In a glass, it tastes really good. This is like something you would drink in glass, like in a yeah. like a nice like goblet. It was you expensive. know, chalice. A slice of orange in there. The first one's like an easy one that you can get frequently. This one's more like a special occasion kind of deal. Chugability feels good too. You like, enjoying that? It's not. It's not like trying to fight its way down. Oh, so good. it smells good. It's like you drink certain beers at certain times. Yeah, know, for me, the, the, the wit beer is like a cheese plate kind of a beer. Yeah, um, it feels like something you would pair with something because yeah. there's more flavor to it than just, yeah. you know, hops and it's, it's more of a complicated, complex 
drink. Yeah. I just feel like there's like times and places to drink different types of yeah. beer, you know? Like I feel like that's that's why people make different types of beer, I feel like, you know? All right, what's next? Okay, next up we have the Sunrise City IPA. I'm excited about this. This is 7% alcohol, 77 Ooh. IBUs, 77 IBUs, with over three pounds of hops per barrel. IPAs are like something that I used to drink all the time, and then at some point in between now and high school, college, I mean, totally not high school, uh, <laughs> um, I, I obtained an allergy to hops. I wanna see your reaction when we this smell this. This is 70, 70 IBU. I can smell it from here. I'm not right in there. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is, that is so much. Well, if you're gonna be an IPA, I mean, if you're gonna be you're an gonna IPA, go for you gotta it. Jump in with both feet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just for the record, I love IPAs. I just am allergic to them. Doesn't really usually Ooh. stop me from drinking them though. Oh wow. Okay, so the smell smells like an IPA. It smells like a 100% IPA. The taste, 100% IPA. Like this, so close. I can taste citrus in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. There's nothing wow. bad about this. This is really nice. This is really nice. The it's color quite, is great too. It's Look quite a paradox because it's, it's really good. strong, but it's really wow. refreshing as well. I really get the citrus in it. The color is fantastic. It's a little less honey y than the wit. It's in, but the color is in between the amber and the wit right now. The aroma smells exactly what you want. Wow. Out of an IPA. This is so good. If you like IPAs, you've got to try this. this I have some favorite IPAs. Around. This is way better than those right now. This that is I can really think of. good. I can't think of an IPA that's better than this one right now. When you buy these variety packs, this one here has an exclusive release that you can't get out anywhere else, and Port it's called Fierce. the Port Fierce. This what a looks nice different. play on words there. Fort Pierce, it's from, and it's called the Port Fierce. And it is different, isn't it? So this is um, an exclusive. Um, Fort Pierce, Port Fierce. Okay, well let's see what they've done with this. The last one was phenomenal. Oh yeah. Let's see if they, uh... Ooh. Ooh. Nice pour. All right. You always have more, more than I do on there. <laughs> well, I love it. There we go. These look fantastic. I like the color of all of them so far. So this one is a 6.5% uh, alcohol and 65 IPU. 65! 65. 65 IBU. Okay, so not, like the, not as much as the last not one. Not as much as the last one, so this but one still, should, like packs a bloody punch. Ooh, this smell's not as strong. Okay, so this one has a bit of a Pilsner vibe to it, it says. But it's still an IPA. But it's still an IPA. That's so weird. So the last one, I could smell it from like out here. This one, you have to be in there. You gotta be, you gotta dive in first. Are you getting much of like a smell out of this one? I don't get a lot of smell Not compared out. to the last one. I don't think it's a bad thing. I just like, I'm like, it's a mystery so far to me. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Tropically. Kind of yeah, that's good too, Nick. That is good. really good. That is so delicious. Mm. This one's confusing me though, because it's like, it tastes like a light IPA, yeah, but then also it tastes more like a citrusy deal, which kind of reminds me of like a pilsner. Yeah, so me too. Yeah, it's like a half and half. It's a it's a citrusy uh, pilsner IPA, an Indian pale pilsner ale. Ooh, not a lot of carbonation going on there. I got some. I got some. Not a whole lot, but I got some. It is super opaque though. You cannot see through this. That's a nice combination. Oh yeah, it's, it, you're right. It's like a citrusy pilsner. Mm. Yeah, IPA. it's a little, it's a little heavier, I think, but that's, I don't, I don't hate that. Mm. I like to drink things that remind me that, you know, I'm drinking something. So <laughs> well, all in all, I will say that all four of these from Selfish have really been fantastic. They've really delivered. Nine out of ten. I think all of them, I think all of them, for what they are, I think they get top-notch, top-notch beers. Nine out of ten, I would drink them, you know, every day. Are they nationwide? I don't know if they're nationwide yet. Hopefully they are. They should be, because this is really, really special stuff. Um, but definitely, if you see it, give it a shot. If you've really enjoyed these four beers from Selfish, please click subscribe, stay in touch, leave your comments at the bottom, nice ones only. And we'll see you next time on the Craft Beer Club. Thanks, guys. See you guys soon. Thanks.
port fish. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Have another beer, of course. Then you have another four to go. <laughs> <laughs>